Hi, it's Andrzej from Charles Games here once again with a special DLC episode of our Charles Engine FMV tutorial series. Since Charles Engine FMV is a state-of-the-art tool for creating FMV games, we have to take care of one thing that is the state-of-the-art – accessibility and readability. And that is what subtitles are for, so this episode is gonna be all about them. And our engine includes handy tools for handling them. So let's start with our dialog scene 1, the sample dialog scene that is included when you download the engine. So I'll just run it so we know what we're dealing with and we can compare. Okay, here we go. Cue the dog, Charlie. And I'll just you know, take that. Hello! And as you can see, are you? no subtitles whatsoever. I've got your email. That's a shame. So suppose we want to, you know, translate our game by subtitles to a different language, or we just want to make sure that people on their morning commute with no headphones because they forgot them at home can still enjoy our game. So what we want to do now is go to Tools here in the toolbar, select Charles and select Charles Engine, and go to About. And here I can easily, through Open Settings, open the object with global settings for our engine. There's a lot of stuff going on, but what I'm looking for is here, languages list. I have only one language here because I really want to be working just with English, but you can easily, you know, add your own number of languages, which would be, I don't know, if we'd want to make Russian, we'd say Aru. But this is crucial part. Each language has its own suffix. It has to be unique suffix with two characters. We're not using any standardized table here, so you can name your suffixes as you want, but you need to make sure they're unique. So for the sake of, you know, being, uh, being straightforward, I'm gonna go with just one, and it's gonna be EN for English. And I need to make sure that every subtitle file I'm gonna use will have to use this suffix, but we'll get into that practically just in a second. The other thing I need to do is to locate the video I want to work with, or the videos I want to work with. I already know where they are because I've imported them here in Charles Engine Samples Assets Movies, but your location might be different since, you know, it doesn't matter where your videos are really, it's up to you as you've seen in the previous installments of this series. So I already know, and I can check here in dialog if I edit it, that it is actually, yeah, 01 How Are You video, which is that one. I can either, you know, through right click open it in Explorer, or I can just, you know, find it manually in my file manager. And I have it here. Uh, I could just like, you know, double check if it's that video. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? Yeah, it is that video I want to work with. But of course, we're doing the subtitles. So we also need subtitles. And Charles Engine um, doesn't allow you to create subtitles from scratch yet. So you have to use some external tool. So I have done exactly that. So I have my subtitles here in like a folder that is totally apart the project folder we have on the right and it's you know if I open it it's a pretty standard typical SRT file you know with timings and all that I create my subtitles in ages sub but you know you could might as well use a different tool it's up to you as long as it's SRT and what I want to do now is to make sure that the subtitle is named the same as the video, that the names are equal. So I'm gonna go here and I'll just, you know, copy the name and to, just to make sure and then paste it here into the file name of the subtitle and then what I need to do is to add the suffix of the desired language which in this case is EN as we've seen in the global settings of the Charles Engine FME, right? So it has to, you know, match. Uh, why is it important that the video file has the same name as the subtitle file, uh, bar the suffix? What Charles Engine will do, uh, it will scan the whole project structure and the, all the files in the project for SRT files which have the names that are equal to the videos you are already using with the suffixes. So we need to make sure it knows how to, you know, join those together. Now, I need to import the file, right, into the project structure here in Unity. Technically, it doesn't matter where I put it, I could easily just, you know, move it here, but I don't want to do that because I want to keep things tidy. So I'll just, you know, create a, a new folder here. 
Uh, sorry, folder here, and I'm just gonna call it, you know, I'm feeling a little lazy today, so just like subtitles. Again, it doesn't matter where you put it, it's up to you, uh, it's for your own sake, the engine just sees the list of files and like scans them all, so it's just like for, you know, for sake of the clarity. And now I can easily just drag and drop it here, once I'm sure. Okay, one more thing, what I can do uh, before I move it, I can test it out. Just, you know, to be sure, so I can save myself some nasty debugging. So I can just like open the video in Hello. my uh, favorite video player, which in this case is VLC, but again, doesn't matter. And I can, in case of VLC, just drag and drop it here and add a subtitle track and just like test it out. Hello. If the timing is right, is the you? formatting is correct and all I that. Your email. And it seems like it's all in order. So I can, you know, easily proceed here and just, you know, move it. Finally, leave it there. Now comes the magic part. To force Unity to scan through a new subtitles, you just, you know, click into it and it will automatically add the new files into your project. And as you can see here, in the, in, in, in the console, it dot, dot, did. And as you can see here in the console, it did some converting, which, as you can see, it converted our SRT file into a TXT file. And now, if I search for our subtitle here in Unity, uh, I can easily see that our engine labeled it as subtitles. So you know everything is correct. And now I can just easily launch and double check if it's working. Okay, once, please dog. Once I take Hello. the call, and here Who we are, are subtitles are on. I've got your email. And Easily, if I press SK button on my keyboard, I can easily switch them on and off and on and off again. So this is the basic way you'd be working with subtitles, but I want to show you something a little more advanced. In Tools, Charles Engine and Subtitles window, you have four handy cards to work with subtitles, mostly in bulk. So in Stats, you can see how many subtitle files you have in your project and how many in each language. We only have one in one language, but your numbers will be different, obviously. The other important thing is import and export cards. So suppose you have a big project with like 50 videos and you have them all in one language and you want to, you know, pay somebody or get somebody to translate them for you. So you don't have to send them individual files. You just use export all subtitles to export them to a single big file and you'll then send out that one and they will send out it, send it back and you can easily import it again here, import from file and you're set to go with a new language. Okay, and the last thing is validate. So I can click validate all the dialogue scenes and what it does is that it checks for all the scenes which have dialogue objects in them and videos in those dialogues and it will check how many of those videos are missing subtitles or have, you know, subtitles with a broken formatting, with some other problems, with problems that would you know, prevent them from displaying. So that is a very handy tool to double check before you release or push an update, or you're not sure that something's wrong with subtitles, to make sure. So we've implemented that to easily, to easily debug a whole subtitle situation. And that's it. That's all from me, from Andre, from Charles Games, and we're very much looking forward to seeing your subbed now subbed FME projects built with Charles Engine FME. Take care and see you around.